When we talk about waves, we often talk about the angle at which they approach the shore, um, and then this concept of refraction. And refraction just means bending. And so what actually is happening is though the wave is coming in likely at an angle, it's even bent to a more shallow angle as it approaches the shoreline. Um, it's still gonna come in at an angle, just not quite as harshly. And we'll talk about why here. So I'm gonna use a map view. And so we often use cross section or side views in geology, but this is actually gonna be a map view. And so just to have kind of a confined area, I'm gonna draw this map here. And we're going to say that this is our beach. And then um, down here is going to be our ocean area, right? So here's the ocean. And before we can really discuss this, we need to talk about um, this particular depth at which the wave starts to interact with the um, bottom of the ocean. It's called the wave base. So let's talk about wave base really briefly. All right, so if we look at a wave, so here's the top of my wave, and here's the bottom of the ocean, so ocean floor. Okay, and there's the top of my wave. Let's say it's traveling from left to right across. There is a depth at which um, the wave is no longer affecting the water. And so um, it ends up being half of the wavelength. So if my wavelength is crest to crest, so that's my wavelength, I'm gonna use lambda for that and I half that, I'm gonna go halfway down and half of that distance is right here. And here is my wave base. Okay, so this is the depth at which um, we're gonna have motion of the water up here and then the water down here is nice and still, okay? All right, so what we wanna know is what this depth is where we're gonna to start to kind of mess with that wave. And so for the point, uh, purpose of our drawing here, I'm going to put it right in here. So this is this magical depth that which when the waves are coming in, it's not being affected at all by the bottom of the ocean. But here the ocean is shallow enough to now where um, the bottom of the ocean is starting to get feel that motion of the wave. All right. All right. So now our waves are going to come in at this angle. So I'm going to draw kind of a relatively steep angle. So these are my waves coming in. All right, so these three waves, I guess, come in no problem. They move along. Their wave base is not being messed with. Uh, the ocean bottom is deep enough. But what's going to happen here as this next wave comes in, I'm going to draw it out here a bit. Um, there we go. This wave from this point here is fine. Like it's not being affected at all by the bottom of the ocean. But here it's going to start to slow down because it's going to start dragging on the bottom of the ocean. And so the wave's not going to go as far as it would have to here. It maybe does something like this because it gets slowed down. The next one coming in there, same thing, would normally do something like that. But because the bottom of it is dragging on the bottom of the ocean, it is slowing down and doing something like this. And so we continue to do that and you'd see that your angle instead of being this more steeper angle is going to kind of shallow out. So instead of coming in at this angle here, they actually come in something like that. So it shifts it by several degrees. And so this is called wave refraction. The wave, wave is being bent. Um, so that's the first part of things. The second thing is I wanna talk about how this affects um, headlands. So let's look at that now. All right, so here is my headland. Again, this is a map view kind of sticking out in the ocean. Um, and here's my ocean water coming in. And this is gonna be the depth at which we start to mess with the wave, right? So out here, if the wave comes in, it's not being affected by the ocean bottom. Inside this little dashed line, now all of a sudden the wave is starting to drag along, kind of slow down. Now to make these a little bit easier, instead of bringing in an angle, I'm gonna bring it straight on just to illustrate what's happening here. Okay, so out here, the wave comes in, no problem. Next one comes in, no problem. But as it starts to be affected, what you'll see is here, let's take, take it right here. This is gonna go the normal speed, right? And this is gonna go the normal speed because it's not being affected by the bottom of the ocean. But in here, it's gonna slow down. It's gonna get dragged along. So it's gonna do something like this. It's not gonna travel as fast as it would have across there. The next one that comes in, same thing, instead of going across here like it should, we're actually gonna bend it like this. Oops, like that. 
And we're going to continue to see that. And so what ends up happening is that the wave kind of um, folds itself around the headland and the energy ends up getting really concentrated around here. And so you'll see that the angle that it's coming in at does something like this um, instead of just a straight on sort of thing. So the energy is concentrated on the headland. It really starts to erode that and really chunks away at that because what's wanting to happen is the shoreline, it wants to become straight. So Mother Nature likes to take all those neat curves out and it does that by attacking it. Um, and you'll see that along coastlines where an area of rock sticks out, the waves get very, very violent. And then down in the bays, it's much more um, gentle. And that's exactly why beaches develop in little bays instead of out here where the land sticks out. <laughs> 